Creating history isn't a very easy business, but uh, that was something of a master class today. I'm sure you're very proud of your work. Yeah, in terms of ball striking, it wasn't perfect by any means, but uh, in terms of uh, grinding it out, you know, when I did make mistakes, I was, I was saving myself well with short game, which is something I've done very well all year, and uh, picked off birdies when I had the opportunities, and um, really took full advantage of all those opportunities, and obviously to, sh to score six birdies with uh, no drop shots was, was just the round I was looking for. Yeah, well, the race is almost run, but I'm sure you're taking nothing for granted yet. No, you can't in this game, and uh, I'd be foolish to you know, expect that it's, it's over. Um, tomorrow will be just like any other day in terms of my focus will be on trying to catch whoever's the leader and, and trying to win the tournament. But it's nice that you do have that chance actually to win the tournament as well as... The, the well, that would, that would make tomorrow even sweeter, <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, I'm in a good position. Okay, questions please, Mark. Mark Foster. Uh, Luke, when did you first know anything about Rory today? Were you just looking at leaderboards to see if his name was on it or not? Or? Uh, the first time I saw a leaderboard was uh, 13, I think. I tried not to um, really look, just kind of concentrate on my own game. Um, obviously, uh, the couple times I did look at leaderboards, I didn't see his name on. So, uh, obviously, he wasn't um, playing his best today. Um, I'm not really sure where he's at right now, but... Uh, yeah, obviously he wasn't climbing up the leaderboard. That really didn't change anything for me. Um, but um, uh, other than maybe a slight ease and the, the peace of mind. Jamie? Okay. Uh, does this day encapsulate the season in some ways? Does this, this day encapsulate the season in some ways? Um, I mean, in, in a certain way, there was a lot of grind out there. Um, you know, it was it was a solid round of golf, but it certainly wasn't perfect. I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't 100 percent comfortable. I hit a few loose shots, but when I got in trouble, um, I was able to really dig myself out of it with with some great short game, hold some good putts, and um, just really kept everything in front of me and uh, didn't make any make any mistakes. And, you know, I think uh, my year has been built on uh, consistency, and then that was kind of uh, a good example of it. Mike, did, it, did you start thinking about the race at all, the, the, the historical implications as you were playing, or is that still something you're trying to keep away from? I mean, it, it comes into your mind now and again, but you try and uh, put that behind, put, put it away quickly, and, and, and get back to focusing on the shot at hand. Um, it's definitely been a couple times where I've been on putts and. You know, my mind has wandered a little bit, and you just kind of got to step back, kind of uh, sh shut it out, and and get back focusing. Paul, I know you try not to get ahead of yourself, um, but tomorrow we need to have an extraordinary series of collapses by some great names on the leaderboard, and an extraordinary round from from, from Rory. You must you must realise that, and it's pretty much done. Well, I'm certainly in a good position. Again, Paul, I'm not going to really. Um, I'm not going to try and think like that. You know, I'm going to try and treat tomorrow's round like the fourth round of any other tournament. And the fact that uh, I've got an opportunity to put some pressure on the leaders and win the event. I think uh, I, I said that from the start. And I could get in trouble if uh, you know I concentrated on that ninth place position. Um, at times, you know, uh, it's been tough not to. You know, in a certain way. Um, it's almost felt a little bit like Q school. I mean, I haven't been there for 10 years, but you know, doing all the great work that I've done this year, and if I wasn't able to quite complete it, um, you know, I feel like I'd walk away with uh, missing out. And uh, it's going to be a tough day tomorrow. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to feel it. But uh, I'm, I'm obviously, uh, as I said, I'm in a good position. Ollie, I think your short game today was demonstrably better than anyone else's. I mean, do, do you just attribute that? I mean, as it has been all year, do you attribute that just to practicing it longer and harder than anybody else? Um, I attribute it to uh, partly that, yeah, obviously, you know, work ethic is uh, a big part of what I pride myself on. But um, I have a great short game coach in Pat Goss. He's, uh, I think, uh, pretty much a little bit unknown amongst uh, you know the golfing world. I mean, he's the head coach of Northwest, and he's obviously been my coach for for 14 years. But 
Um, I think his short game uh, skills at teaching short game is, is uh, are, are very good, and he, he's really helped me a lot. Do they? Luke, I know you don't want to count any chickens yet, but uh, if you rewind to the start of the year, could you have ever imagined you'd, you'd have a season like you've had this season? Something you always hope for, uh, and, and believe that it's somewhat possible, but uh, you know, doing it and believing it is, is totally different. Um, you know, it was a, there was a lot of lean, lean years there for a while, uh, where I wasn't uh, wasn't winning. Um, felt kind of kind of frustrated on the course, wasn't getting a lot out of it. But uh, you know, there's a lot of good examples of golfers where you just wait for your time. I think uh, Harrington almost has been a, a little bit of a a good role model for me. You know, he had so many seconds in his career. Um, suddenly, he you know became very patient, and then uh, suddenly he won three majors in two years and uh, you've just got to keep uh, believing that at some point it's going to be your time. Joy, over here. Luke, how are you going to spend this evening now? Uh, same as every night probably. Uh, go back, uh, might do 20 or 30 minutes in the gym just to um, get a little bit of a sweat on and then um, go eat and go to sleep. I'll uh, talk to my family on Skype and see how their day's going and uh, Get up tomorrow just like usual. Wait, could you want to finish off? Yeah, just talking talking about the round, you talked about your putting. Maybe you could hit some of the high points that you felt. You know, you had extreme birdies a couple of times. What were some of the high points out there? Well, I think just getting off to a great start. I, I'd struggled on the first hole uh, all week, made bogey there uh, Thursday, Friday, and, and to, to make a three there, felt like I made up uh, two shots, which I, I suppose I did in a way. Birdied uh, number two, and I was kind of off and running. Um, Again, every time I had an opportunity, I sort of took it. You know, it uh, made a nice birdie on, on five from about 10 feet, um, hit it really close on eight. A nine again, uh, I hit a horrible sh second shot, and that was a very tough chip, and, and, and hit it to that. So, um, you know, it was a mixture of just taking my opportunities when I had them and um, you know, minimizing those mistakes when, when I made them. Great, thank you. And Jamie, you can have the last one. Look, history is a big word and it's a big achievement. Um, do you think it'll get the due recognition of what you've done this year? Mm, that's up to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. If you write some nice things, maybe I will. But, but does it ever, does it, that worry you at all, you know, that? Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. You, you always like recognition, you know, I was asked this on Wednesday, but um, I think what, you know, if it all works out tomorrow, it's, it's a pretty amazing feat that what I've done. Um, look at uh, all the awards and accomplishments that I've won this year, and uh, you know, to, to, to win both money lists is uh, a little bit, uh, you know, it is history, and hopefully uh, we'll get that recognition. Well, if you're sitting here with two titles tomorrow night, you can't <laughs> argue against it. <laughs> well, well played again. Thank you. Nice birthday present. Yeah.